Um, maybe we can look a little bit at the experience that we had with European soya. And Michelle has said it, soya is a, generally a plant that has been well researched, but also in Europe there was very little res research on, on soy going on in the last, let's say, 40 years. But this has changed, uh, and the reason it has changed was a mixture of public investment and um, the, the understanding in the, in, the, in, the, in the whole value chain that this crop is going to grow. So there was a certain um, hype that people said, okay, this is a crop we want to invest in. And this is all parts of the value chain, from the breeders all the way to the processes to the users. And I think we have to create a similar success stories for other crops in Europe. Um, European farmers are very well suited for the challenge because we have many very well educated and smaller farmers in Europe. That's different to uh, overseas countries, countries in the Americas, etc. So farmers are very well suited to grow niche crops, but there needs to be a strategy uh, in finding uh, and defining which crops we should focus on, defining the agronomic areas that they are suited for, and uh, developing the value chain and developing markets in, like, hand in hand with uh, processing, breeding and all of that. And I think that in the first part, so developing a strategy, is it, there's a lot of public, um, um, let's say, public um, value. And there's also a need for public investment. So we need a, a, a research strategy. We need a up, upscaling strategy. And I think this is something we should, uh, we should work on together. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody can do it alone, uh, but we can all do it together, in my opinion. And mm -hmm. then we should find, uh, as I said before, regions, climate regions uh, and suitable crops for these regions and, and start to work on developing the chain, uh, starting with the breeding all the way to the, to the food processing. Okay, maybe Sonia to your point, because you're also working with many research institutes, right? Uh, the question is, could, could Europe uh, develop a, a more maybe distinctive, more meaningful position um, um, by being seen as a food hub with uh, fantastic research? Is there enough critical mass? Do you believe in it that this could be something for Europe? Yeah, thanks for the question, uh, Gerard. I think it could. Um, my hesitation you might uh, might hear yeah. is, and, and that's the, the beauty or, or the difficulty we have in Europe, we have so many countries. So mm -hmm. huh, if I compare it, for instance, to Canada, they as a country has said, yes, we have an objective because we want to achieve this for our country and our farmers and whatever. So for me, I think the key thing we have to find, what is the common objective to do it? It, it probably links also to what you were saying, Matthias, in terms of um have, what solutions are we trying to solve are we trying to have a, or do we have a commonality in terms of finding a way for the farmers to make the transition do we have a commonality in terms of what type of applications do we want to serve from a consumer point of view from a functionality point of view like michelle said so i think you need to find a critical mass on which problems are we trying to solve together and then work from that because otherwise it it's a beautiful it sounds beautiful let's do it together mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if people don't have the same objective or multiple objectives yeah mm -hmm. then i i wouldn't see it to work create that urgency and then yeah. say what what do we really believe in that are these commonalities mm -hmm. that we're going to go after and then mm -hmm. indeed make some choices on crops and and stuff like that and go for it the trouble only is how to bring that all together mm -hmm. and where to make those smart choices among them there were many about uh, mixed farming and uh, research projects uh, benefiting like in uh, um, a different scales um and so the all this investment includes uh, as you can uh, imagine the, all the Horizon 2020 projects, no? the, the big mm -hmm. program Horizon 2020. Um, there are several projects uh, where, where uh, protein-based, uh, um, uh, crop-based foods were, were um, developed. Uh, I, I have a list, but due to time constraints, I will not go through the whole list, but I can say that um, um, projects uh, investigating transition paths uh, to increase sustainable legume cultivation and, cons and, and consumption have been mm -hmm. funded. Also, um, uh, for for um, yeah, the, the, to increase the knowledge and the best practices on sustainable legume crops. Um, then there were crop, uh, projects about breeding. Uh, what I am hearing a lot here, um, breeding strategies for uh, major economic uh, important uh, um, crops. Um, there was specifically one topic um, uh, on alternative proteins for food and feed, uh, which um, under Horizon 2020, which funded four projects uh, for a total of 32 million euros. So that was a big investment as well. And 
those projects dealt with uh, not only plant products, but also <laughs> microalgae and um, uh, insects. Now, that was also an important uh, yeah. a, a protein uh, source that I have not heard much about that. Mm -hmm. um, and now there are ongoing still uh, ongoing projects funded under 20, uh, Horizon 2020, which are we have not finished. Mm -hmm. um, there are many on again on the use efficiency, so trying to reduce uh, uh, fertilizers used, um, those linking also with uh, bio circularity. Uh, projects on uh, to enhance management and use of, of genetic resources of le legume re genetic resources. So there is really a, a broad um, a variety of, of uh, research ongoing. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say that uh, then following uh, in 2018, you 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 may all know about the report uh, the, of the Commission on on the protein plan. Uh, mm -hmm. So development of, of plant proteins in the EU. Uh, so, as from then, uh, more political impetus was given uh, to continue looking at the opportunities uh, of plant protein crops. Um, and also an emphasis was given on the economic and environmental potential of these uh, plants. Um, so, they need to boost competitiveness uh, from this uh, production in the EU, promoting its benefits and so on. And, and here is where Horizon Europe comes, uh, the, the new... Uh, uh, pro, a specific program of Horizon Europe with an exclusive uh, broad line on uh, supporting EU plant protein production for food and feed. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a specific area, intervention area for that. Uh, well, intervention is more for agriculture and forestry and rural areas, but within that there is a specific line on, on, on plant proteins. Um, and so for Horizon Europe, um, we have had one work program, so the work program 21-2022 where um, I would say from the DG agriculture side, three projects uh, have been funded or are going to be funded mm -hmm. uh, for a total of uh, 23 million euros. Um, these projects are on, uh, one is on, on boosting breeding, so uh, on the breeding part of legume sector, and the other one is more on um, stimulating the land-based crop production for food and feed. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are other 20 million euros going uh, under this work program to alternative proteins, as I said, uh, more on under um, uh, to look more for, for other sources. I'm talking about uh, insects, microalgae mm -hmm. uh, and etc. Um, so I think that, uh, well, then we have work program 23, 24, 24, but this is not yet um, published. So we have to wait until the end of the year for the for the adoption of this program. Mm -hmm. um, so just to add to the um, horizon, I want to just shortly mention about the IEP Agri. So we have also the other um, uh, source or option for funding um, of research is uh, um, um, through the operational groups that you may have heard. And this brings back to, to um, what you were, um, uh, our colleagues were mentioning about um, having more uh, regional um, um, based uh, research. So these mm -hmm. are groups um, with a, the, the view is providing answers to more local issues. So they are bottom up local innovation projects. Huh? Uh, these are funded separately, it's not like Horizon, they are under the um, rural development funds, but these groups cover various aspects also of uh, protein plants. Hmm? And um, this is uh, a very important um, point for member states. Um, and last but not least, I um, this links back to the CAP. Um, uh, so, as you know, the CAPS also gives uh, the, the common agricultural policy then it give, gives mm -hmm. uh, uh, support now to member states to, to establish uh, programs uh, in the protein sector and um, they have the possibility to reward um, environmental benefits of legumes uh, through eco schemes or other um, initiatives. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, so I, I think this is um, a summary. <laughs> And then also probably to, yeah, to elaborate a bit on that. For us, I would say um, there are these two elements, public funding and private funding. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to, let's say, unlock all the possibilities for private funding, 
the competitiveness of the chain hits a key element from mm -hmm. um, the processors till uh, readers in our case. But um, and then coming back to the idea I was uh, presenting about the strategy, um, the European Union has a lot of uh, possibilities in terms of policies, indeed. But uh, from our point of view, it's not only that. I'm sure uh, the CAP, the Common Agricultural Policy, Horizon Europe, probably promotion policy are very good elements to, to consider. But also um, the legal certainty uh, to allow, for instance, new innovations. In our case, probably, I don't know, new learning techniques, uh, better use of digitalization, etc. So there are many other aspects that could be introduced in this strategy that would allow um, the sector to develop, unlocking the potential of private funding. Mm -hmm.
I would like to ask uh, Siska to come forward to maybe explain something which is related to an in point that's mentioned many times, which is the vision and, uh, and the direction, right? And I think, uh, Siska, you have prepared the stuff, uh, a letter together with your members and also yeah. with the ecosystem. Could you explain a little bit about what's on your launch plan? Yeah, I think what we have prepared together with uh, many co-signatures active in the field is, of course, a call a call towards the European Commission um, and also to, to public and, and perhaps also later on private funding to have more dedicated research. I think uh, mm -hmm. during the panel discussion here, it's, it's obviously it's clear that still a lot of research is needed and dedicated research specific for plant-based. I think these were very good uh, insights if we could work together uh, to have this strategy to define those crops which are needed, uh, to have also a, a better understanding of the value chain, so which crops are needed for which foods and how can we make. I think this, there's there, there are gaps and I think we need to continue this discussion to clarify further uh, what is needed. And then I'm, I'm very happy to hear also from the Commission that uh, perhaps for the next calls of proposals. I think there will be still two calls of proposals in the Horizon Europe. There might be uh, some more specific attention to the points which we have uh, raised here. And I think the panel, the experts, I'm, I'm certain that they are very willing to um, to define further, to elaborate further what would be the priorities. So then also helping the Commission really to drive uh, on the priorities to move things forward. I think this was um, this is in general our call to have more specific funding, but not just funding, but the right funding for the right focus. And I think when I hear all the panelists, um, I hear a lot of uh, agreement that there needs to be a better collaboration, better understanding of the whole chain from the breeders to the farmers to the to the producers of the food. So if together we could develop also with Europe. Uh, this strategy, then I think we can work much more focused and also use the means which are there um, much more efficient. And then, of course, if there's focus, if there's an economic uh, proposition, then uh, to the point of Caesar, I think then also the private investors will be uh, very well, well willing to help to move uh, this forward. So this is this is our call now for uh, Horizon Europe. I also understood that there are other platforms, so we're, we will also dive into other possibilities within Europe for funding. And uh, we are very happy to continue this discussion with um, with all the experts and to try to come to to a strategy. Because personally, I think for Europe, it's also an opportunity to become a hub, a real hub on uh, on plant protein. There is. It's the future. It's also expressed in the ambition from Form to Fork for the Green Deal. The eco schemes are going in that direction. But I think to the point made also by, by one of the panelists, we need speed, we need acceleration. So I think um, I would also like to thank all the um, the panelists for the, for the open discussion and uh, yeah, invite everyone to keep the discussion going. And hopefully we will find uh, a follow-up event to, uh, to define further together uh, where our focus uh, should be. So here are, and, and in the meantime, I dropped our joint letter in the chat ah, for information. Oh, you did. Uh, Great. Great. You yeah. So uh, maybe to all of you here, I think um, what we, what you could see if you reflect, this is work in progress, uh, but it's also collaborative work in progress, uh, but very clear kind of points to interact, to engage, to share, to take it to the next level. And yeah, there is now a path uh, within the AAPF with different stakeholders to do that. And one of the next steps is that there will be some more discussions between food and agri on the breeding side about what do you need? It's very clear that uh, the agri side and also the breeders need a vision about from the food industry. So how much is that volume going to be in 2030? Because if I invest, it takes time and that data are needed uh, there. We're going to work on that together. But uh, you could see here that um, in June, there is a summit in Wageningen, one of the maybe food hubs, uh, where there's also a lot of work being done in plant based in June 21st to 23rd. And um, we welcome everybody to be part of that next discussion and hopefully to enjoy some uh, good plant-based foods as well at the same time while having uh, maybe some other liquid uh, enjoyments uh, together and uh, and just have fun and, and, and connect because that's very important. I think that is also maybe the 
the uh, maybe take home for all of you. If you zoom out what everybody is saying, um, collaboration is great. Then the question is, do you know each other? And the question is no. So uh, take this home. And if you see bridges between uh, the different fields where you think you in your own individual field can make a little connection, that connection can already have a lot of impact. And uh, that takes time. And uh, we're all working very hard. We're all relatively small organizations. So together, I think we could uh, build this into uh, a really uh, very much collaborative uh, effort where we can all enjoy from. So if you think I'm small, uh, I'm in seaweed and I, I want to have something, I'll come to June to the discussions and bring the whole seaweed industry with you because it's also an important industry for other reasons uh, and it's plant-based. Having said that, I would like to um, kind of close. Is there a closing comment from you, a take home, Siska? No, I, I really want to thank everyone. I think I, I learned also a lot also for the uh, for the value for the farmers uh, to, to choose the right crops. I think that uh, I, I'm a very optimistic person and I hear a lot of opportunities yeah. and uh, possibilities to uh, to collaborate further. So and as, as I uh, put in the chat, I'm happy to continue mm -hmm. this discussion. So uh, and I, I hear a lot of alignment. So um, I think this is um, the way forward to really jointly develop the strategy and then to work towards it. I think, as you said, Herat, it takes time. It's a stepwise approach, but we need to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have started already today and before. So having said that, I think uh, I would like to ask you also from our position and thank Charlotte, who has done a great job in pulling it all together. Uh, applause for Charlotte, please. She's been working very hard to get it to go and it wasn't easy. Yeah, come forward, Charlotte. And also Bob, my colleague, uh, who has helped in the communication because we were a great group here um, in uh, in numbers as well. 150 people for yeah, this topic is, I think, uh, really showing an interest from everybody around maybe the world. Have a wonderful evening, uh, have a wonderful dinner and hope to see you uh, again and connect with you. Thank you very much.